welcome everyone to our distinguished guest lecture series 2021 organized by department of religious study and Ariel graduate council of university of west my name is miro sake chair of department of religious study and i would like to request our president of university of west dr min Huata, to say a few words hello everyone hello venerable pinyan nanda very nice to meet you thank um, you it's my honor to welcome you to provide this lecture um, to the U.S. community. I want to personally thank you um, for your support of U.S. And I know that you have continued to propagate um, the uh, Buddhist Dharma uh, in the U.S., in the U.S., uh, across the community and across many ethnic groups. Um, and also uh, in my beloved community, the Vietnamese community. Um, so thank you very much for all your work um, and your willingness to share um, your teaching, your knowledge uh, to the U.S. community. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, President Tat. Yes. Uh, today, it is my great, great pleasure and honor to introduce our distinguished guest speaker, Venerable Dr. Agmaha Pandita. Wapulo Piananda, abbot of Dharma Bize Buddhist Bihara, Los Angeles. Pande is the founder, president, and abbot of Dharma Bize Buddhist Bihara in Los Angeles, California, born in 1943 in Sri Lanka. He has been a monk since the age of 12. He came to United States in 1976 to further his education, attending Northwestern University and UCLA, holding two MAs and PhD. He is presently the advisor to the President of Sri Lanka on International Religious Affairs and the Chief Monk of the Sri Lankan Sangha in America and Canada. He has provided many services for South Asian refugee in Los Angeles and was the Buddhist chaplain for the 1984 Los Angeles Olympic Games. He currently teaches Dharma and meditation at his temple in Los Angeles, one of the oldest Theravada temple in the United States. He has been instrumental in the re-establishment of the Theravada Pikuni order. He was there with the planning and work as a preceptor in 1996 in Sarna, India, when the first group of women became fully ordained nun. Since the Theravada order has previously died out in the year 1017. Since that time, he has ordained many more women for fully ordained bhikkhuni. He is author of the Bodhi Tree Groves in LA, Saffron Days in LA, and thus we heard recollection of the life of the Buddha. The topic of the lecture uh, is Buddhist influence in America. So without further ado, please join me in with welcoming Pante Pianada. Um, good afternoon, Madam President and Professor Sake and most venerable Sangha members, dear friends, I'm so pleased and happy to talk to you with my experiences. I have been almost uh, living in this wonderful country 47 years. Therefore, I have uh, some experiences working with the uh, many uh, Buddhist groups in America. Today, my topic is Buddhist influences in America. Uh, the history of Buddhism in the America is very interesting one uh, because it is, um, let us see, even uh, October 10th, we celebrated um, our um, uh, America discovered by uh, Christopher uh, Columbus Day. You know, now that theory has been little changes. Who discovered America? Look at this book, Chinese Sangha members, Chinese monks, huh? before Columbus, uh, 70 years before Columbus, 
Chinese Sangha members came to America via Alaska. They travel to Mexico and Los Angeles. This book, very interesting book, in, uh, uh, you can read, and it is uh, uh, even uh, New York Times bestseller one. So this one explained very well. Hmm? Therefore, we don't have to have uh, some imperial complex. Uh, this is a Christian country, it belongs to white man. No, <laughs> we respect everybody is, but same time, we have to uh, be proud of ourselves. This country discovered by uh, Chinese Buddhist Sangha members. Even after that, you know, the when um, American Constitution, when the drafting time, uh, Jefferson, our second president uh, in America, uh, he invited Thomas Paine to come to this country. Who is the Thomas Paine? Thomas Paine was a very good Buddhist, lived in England. England. He knew Buddhism very well, especially he knew uh, Buddhist uh, Vinaya very well. So with knowing, no without knowing, he could some of democratic system can he put into the American constitution. Huh? Uh, in here used to have a well-known uh, magazine called Truth Seeker. If you go to internet, find out the Truth Seeker, they have a, 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 even videos in Truth Seeker telling their leader as uh, Thomas Paine. Unfortunately, American historian making label for him, he's an atheist because he, he is a Buddhist, that's why they call atheist. Eh? Then the, uh, again, we found our fourth American president, Japan, fourth American president, uh, uh, his grandson, Henry Brooks. Henry Brooks is a, a, a Quincy Jones, Quincy, uh, uh, Quincy Jones, uh, Quincy, Quincy Adams' grandson. He was ambassador to England as well as Japan too in uh, Abraham Lincoln time. He even a Sutta Nipata Theravada, very one of the very greatest book, he translated in English. Hmm? Also, uh, Henry um, Brooks was a very well known poet. Uh, he also wrote uh, another wonderful book called uh, uh, Buddha and Brahman. You can even Google and find out Buddha and Brahman. In other words, what I'm saying in a higher ranking authorities in this country, new Buddhism in earlier. Then the uh, another fourth time I have to mention Robert uh, G. Angersoll. Angersoll is a very interesting person. Angersoll was uh, in uh, Illinois, uh, uh, Illinois uh, one, eight, 18, he was uh, 18, 33 to 1899 in Attorney General in uh, Illinois. See, Angus Hall wrote many books. In Angus Hall lectures here, Angus Hall lectures in compare Buddhism and Christianity. He is a giver of highest recognition to Buddhism. He criticized Holy Bible. We don't want to put into anyone religious down, but he's logically doing that. Huh? In Angus Hall, the person some way promoted Buddhism in this country using his even authority as the uh, Illinois Attorney General. Then after that, we can find out uh, um, Henry Olcott. Uh, Henry Henry Al Alcott uh, was uh, even the uh, cabinet minister again, uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, for cabinet. 
in agriculture minister. When uh, Abraham Lincoln assassinated, he's the chairperson was to find out what had happened. He converted to Buddhism, went to Sri Lanka and uh, with uh, Madame Blavatsky from Russian lady who both them together found a, a, a theological society. He, he also helped a lot of promoting Buddhism. In fact, he's the person who started uh, join with the first uh, World Religions or Parliament in Chicago, 1983, uh, uh, invited by our uh, Sri Lankan, one greatest leader, Anagarika Dharmapala, came to that meeting. Also in Japanese, Hmong, uh, uh, Saku, Soen Saku, he also joined Mahayana tradition. Both of them give a wonderful talk. It is recorded. You can go and find out any libraries in uh, World Parliament of Religions, uh, all of books I do have in our library too. Then in that day, very interesting to tell you Anagarika Dharmapala's speech after then, uh, in the audience there were five of Buddhists. Among them, uh, according to Dharmapala's record, among them, four of them were ladies, one was a man. Uh, then we can find out in due to many reasons, Buddhism came to this country, especially Chinese uh, people came to the trail, starting railway system in America in San Francisco and uh, Japanese also later on. In early uh, 19, actually 18, you can find out in San Francisco eight Chinese temple in Chinatown early time. Then after that 18, 1875, Chinese uh, temples they established, they brought their religion to this country. Uh, without fear. Uh, they did a wonderful good things in Chinese have to get a first credit to uh, doing promoting in a, uh, some way this Buddhism. Then again, Jodo Shinshu Japanese group also started temple we call in America a Church of uh, Buddhist. America, San Francisco, they do have a, uh, Berkeley have a headquarters. In fact, one of our Sri Lankan monk, uh, well respected, well, well Bante uh, uh, Sila Vimala, Mandavala Sila Vimala, he joined there since 1976. He have we still teaching there. And uh, he says, somebody did a good job in combination with Theravada and Mahayana. Then after that, uh, we can say after the Korean War 1950, many Korean people come to this country. Unfortunately, <laughs> among them, if they, uh, they were most of them in Korea Buddhist, then come to this country uh, among, I believe at least 75 of them become a Christian, but still remain some of them are 25% Buddhist. Eh? Uh, then again, Vietnamese war, uh, due to that Vietnamese, many people came to this country, Vietnamese, then uh, Lao, Cambodian, due to this war, a lot of refugees came. They came with uh, our own, their heritage, with the Buddhism. They have been doing wonderful, remarkable work, especially Buddhist monks, like uh, early time here, Thich Thien Nan, who found uh, uh, Los Angeles uh, uh, Buddhist College eh? um, in uh, Oriental Studies, he's founded and he taught at UCLA. Uh, he's one of his students, uh, Bikuni, uh, uh, our Sarika, again, uh, the many other nun was uh, he taught and became a Buddhist. Then again, 
On the other hand, we had to find out the scientist and psychologist and uh, academic field people improve Buddhism very well. For example, Albert Einstein, uh, Nikol, uh, our uh, Tesla. Uh, I don't know whether people know that Tesla was a Buddhist. Tesla is a very interesting person who is the, even though get a, uh, Anderson get a credit to get a <laughs> light bulb, Tesla did the job. Hmm? Tesla also Buddhist. Not only Buddhist, he practiced Buddhist. He wrote a many article to the Anderson to uh, practice, in, practice loving kindness, do practice loving kindness that way. Even his funeral service did uh, under the Buddhist services. Eh? Tesla, today, Tesla, we have a, a, even the car. I don't know the owner even knew that he was a Buddhist. Eh? Uh, like that, uh, not only uh, Tesla, again, uh, like uh, 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 many other uh, scientists, uh, uh, Robert uh, 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 Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, someone may not, able, not like to say Oppenheimer knew Buddhism because he's the person uh, make a bomb to Hiroshima. Hmm? Uh, but he knew Buddhism. He wrote somewhere comparing in electricity and nirvana. Some way, someone asked question, how you explain uh, electricity? He says, same way I can explain the Buddha, explain the nirvana. That's the way, in that way, he knew Buddhism. Huh? Again, uh, William James, our first psychologist in America. Hmm? When you read his uh, psychological explanation, he give a highest credit to the Buddha. In fact, Anagarika Dharmapala, once he went given a talk in uh, uh, Harvard University, Dharmapala was an audience. Dharmapala Shakur say, in, uh, he immediately says, this is the, uh, uh, I do not know much Buddhist uh, psychology. This man should be known because he's a Buddhist leader. Buddha is a pound of the psychologist like that uh, uh, William James mentioned. Again, in many universities, like uh, I think you are familiar, one of your teachers, our Dr. Lancaster, Lancaster did a marvelous job teaching Buddhism in Berkeley. In uh, UCLA, Dr. Mackey, Dr. Mackey, Department of the um, Anthropology. He was a wonderful, good teacher. He, I, I was very close to him, 1980 uh, to 85. And uh, he also promoted Buddhism. He wrote uh, many books, Buddhism, and uh, especially meditation section. And also, again, uh, Nilian is smart. Even though he's uh, in a British, uh, uh, he was in England University, but he came and uh, living here four years, taught in a Santa Barbara University. Uh, that way, even a Northwestern University, our venerable Dr. Rahula came 1965, um, uh, sorry, before that, 64, and he taught Northwestern University and he started Theravada department, and which I also got a master degree, same department. And uh, uh, there were a couple of good professors, even uh, our George Bond. George Bond is a very good Buddhist scholar, even though he's a Methodist minister, he's a good uh, Buddhist scholar. And like that, many universities, many professors have been uh, teaching Buddhism and promoting Buddhism, same time, time to time, our Sri Lankan Buddhist Sangha members come in teaching and promoting Buddhism, especially in early, even 1925, uh, Venerable Vajrayana came to Los Angeles and taught, uh, even uh, Venerable Piyadasi, Venerable Hampala Ratanasara, uh, 
uh, those uh, the teachers came time time taught here uh, venerable dikwela pianand and venerable our uh, still have been the oldest our sangha members living in this country uh, venerable gunaratana banthi ji uh, he is also came to this country uh, 1970 uh, 75 i believe and sorry 68 uh, something like that time and he have been teaching and started many centers and so forth um then again some of you know some people still thinking that uh, uh, siddhartha uh, books i mean uh written by uh, him as a german author some people think it is a buddhist book buddha's life it is not yet it is influences to become a buddhist to many uh, people hmm? then again uh, we have to give a very credit to the jewish people Jew, judo jew bud if you go to internet internet look at jew bud Ju- or uh, they are said in jubud or uh, many name they learn buddhism promoting in fact uh, uh, here uh, 1996 one of famous P- peter jennings peter jennings was a very well known uh, uh, journalist he had found out and he explained to abc mbc news in Los Angeles, America, most of Jewish people are interested in Buddhism. Los Angeles Times reported among six million Jews, at least half of them are Buddhist. Hmm? Uh, we know our greatest Buddhist scholar, Dr. Bhikkhu Bodhi. He coming from that road. All many other, if you go to any Zen centers and Buddhist scholars, find out. they are coming from jewish families uh, i don't know what is the uh, difference so you can find out why jewish people are interested in buddhism uh, that's the uh, someone to find out would uh, um, jew like that way again ananda kumara sami one of the our greatest sri lankan professor uh, early 1930 uh, 1930s he came to here harvard university he taught buddhism mm-hmm. then uh, of course uh, this way buddhist people uh, are taught same time in most of universities in america either sci- department of psychology or history or anthropology or arts or any way without buddhism cannot discuss therefore they have to compare that way scholars mostly become uh, buddhist again i do not have time because i have very limited time i can tell so many stories about the uh, american uh, also some of the uh, christian leaders help us to promote buddhism in this country um, uh, especially when we go to um, father thomas merton father thomas merton my, by the way i met him 1965 in sri lanka and he is a very uh, liberal thinker he brought to this country uh, especially to Cal- Christian Catholic group to explain how wonderful Buddhism, especially meditation, the eh? Anatma Vada, Anat Soul, No Soul theory. He is wrote many books, some articles. Uh, again, we can um, find out uh, uh, like uh, in here uh, Vedanta society, even though they are Hindus, when they never put in down buddhism they give a higher credit to the buddhism when we they talking some of the liberal christian like a bahai group when they go to 
they give a higher place if you go to Illinois in Evanston, Baha'i big center, there are eight, even eight noble paths explaining the, what the Buddha taught those kind of things. Again, you can find, go to the Unitarian churches in even Los Angeles, go and look at their prayer book. Their prayer book has the uh, Sutta Nipad. They are not stealing, they are wonderful, good people. They are accredited to the Buddhism. This is coming from Sutta Nipad, Karanyamita Sutta translation, their prayers. Dhammapada, some of verses, their prayers book. It, uh, again, another uh, not Scientology, science, science, Christian science. Christian science churches also, if you go to even LA, uh, Los Angeles airport nearby has a big church. In that place also in front of the large Buddhist statue. When, whenever they do prayer, their uh, services, half an hour they used Buddhist meditation, talking Buddhism. Some way, this way, uh, many other religious people also absorb, help us. Especially when the United Nations started, like uh, 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 our early secretaries, like a Sri Lankan gentleman named R.S. Gunawardena, uh, again, uh, third secretary general in uh, Uthan, Burmese, very well known Uthan. Even you go to United Nations, you can find a meditation place also there. Huh? Uh, that way, even United Nations uh, preamble also, if you compare with uh, some of uh, Dhammapada first version, you can see some influences in even a United Nations preamble. Mm. Then uh, again, our uh, American, many, uh, I do not have to mention a lot of, we do have a temple. People do not recognize, no, we don't have uh, any kind of record uh, uh, like other organized religion. Buddhism is not organized religion. Therefore we do not have a record. However, when we go to see Theravada Buddhist section, venerable, uh, most venerable, our Madhi Panyasiya Mahanayaka uh, Mahathera started 1967, Sri Lankan first temple in Washington, DC. After that, I'm very happy to mention I'm got a second temple in Los Angeles. And Theravada Sri Lankan temple, at least we do have in America present moment around 100. Mm. In uh, uh, also Thai temple, over 400 temples. I talked to the abbot of the Thai and got that information. Also Laosian temple, Cambodian temple, uh, also we have uh, at least another 300. Then Theravada himself, because Vietnam is also some of Theravada monks, we have also, uh, we have a Bangladesh some of temple too. When we compare around at least 700, we can find a th or alone Theravada temple in this country. Of course, Mahayana temple, lot. In Chinese temples, we have a lot of Chinese temple and Vietnamese temple, China, uh, Korean temple, Japanese temple, over 2000, at least we do have in this country, we do not have a uh, real uh, numbers. Also, we have to give a greatest credit to the Chinese uh, monks in uh, Sri Lai temple, Lord Abbot, who is in Phuc Phan San. Uh, he is the person really promote in this country Buddhism. Hmm? And I started the University of West and also give a highest recognition to the Buddhist nun. <laughs> Very interesting story. Uh, um, Madam, I have to share with you. When uh, Sintin 
whenever Sintin came to here 1978 and I give a talk at the uh, uh, University um, uh, International Buddhist Center, at that time, uh, one of our we, uh, Chinese nun who live here in, in Ihan was a translator in uh, uh, asked Sinting uh, Yang, Sinting Yang asked question, whenever sir, you are sent, to, if you have opportunity, you are going to send him to this country, promote Buddhism, monks or nuns? He says, nuns. He explained why. Because he says he's in a tw uh, uh, 10 bhikkhus, Ten bhikkhunis. Among ten bhikkhus only remain five or four, but ten bhikkhus now all of remain and they work in so hard. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Venerable Han and uh, other, I forgot the name, another uh, who is, is spoke very well, uh, Japanese nun, they work so hard, it started the Sri Lai temple in beginning Gardena, then Gardena to, went to another place. And uh, then after that, a lot of uh, problem, difficulties and neighbors and so forth, they somehow managed to start Sri Lai temple. Buddhist none the people started, by the way, maybe habits I enjoy now, but nuns did I know personally because I also help went to the city hall and hearing and so forth. Many things had happened that time. Also, uh, we have to very happy to explain to you in the, the Sinting, when well, Sinting is a very intelligent, also very skillful person. For example, when a city hall here in the here in day, in uh, we have another wonderful Chinese temple, uh, 10,000 Buddha city in San Francisco. In actually, I came to that place in 1976 first. Uh, their master was a wonderful, good, greatest master. Unfortunately, without his knowing, someone sent a petition to the city without their permission cannot start temple here. Hmm? So, our one of our Theravada monk was so mad, angry, and he wanted to fight with that. Then uh, when was sent, he said, don't, 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 I handle it. He immediately flew to San Francisco, 10,000 Buddha city, talked to the monk. He did not know the one of uh, American disciples sent this petition. He did not know. Then he gave a wonderful statement. So we didn't have a trouble such a skillful way he handled. We have to learn from that teachers so many things. So these are the historical background. I have to mention many, many things. Oh, by the way, I have to give a couple of credit to the our greatest leader, Dalai Lama. His influences greatly helped our country, America, become a Buddhist, most of getting Buddhism, especially the movie industries, also many other places. For example, when those days when we go outside, people call Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, get out of this country, get out of this country. When later on what now, when we go, some uh, Lamaji, please bless me, Lamaji, bless me. Who is this, change this society, Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama's greatest appearance, compassion, love, and his way of expression greatly helped this country. So in those days, almost uh, once a week, he appeared in a TV, that's a greatly help. Also, I have to give a credit to uh, Venerable uh, Vietnamese monk, Thich uh, Tin, Thich Tin, Thich Tin, Thich Tin uh, Thiknathan. Thiknathan also wrote many books. People like his books also. And uh, a, 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 again, Goyangkaji, one of the greatest meditation teachers, uh, uh, 
last decade, he passed away. In uh, he started Vipassana group, and every part of America, those Vipassana group, he started practicing under his guidance. Uh, we have to credit it to him also. Also, um, Mahasi said of Burmese, very greatest quotation master, trained many of uh, uh, lay person as well as monk. They went to Burma, learning. They come to this country, started many kind of uh, uh, Buddhist centers, meditation centers, and pra practices, even uh, like uh, uh, Bay Area also. I uh, really do not have time to mention some of Golden. Uh, uh, I may have somewhere writing down their name also. Mm. Uh, these people have many ways to promote Buddhism. Uh, then the again, um, and the universities like uh, you started here, University of West. Before even that, Naropa Institute in a Tibetan group started Colorado, uh, Boulder, uh, 1980s. Again, uh, 1990 University of West. Uh, before that. Uh, um, Dr. Thitiyanan has a uh, uh, Oriental Studies College, and also some of the uh, Chinese universities in the East Coast also. In uh, 10,000 Buddha, also they are doing wonderful, good job. And um, if you have a time, go and visit. They have a remarkable way taking care of neighbors and so forth. And uh, uh, this is a way we can explain American Buddhism and a lot of things I have to explain, but I do not have time. If you have any question, not easy beginning 19, uh, when I came 1976, that time, people do not understand because that time in this country, uh, very sad thing to say, Hare Krishna people did not have a good reputation. Uh, uh, media also attacking them many, many ways and uh, kidnapping girls and blah, blah, many, many kind of thing. So we are the suffer. I suffer a lot due to this reason when harassment and even some of, if you can read my one of my book called uh, uh, Saffron Days in LA, I explain how hard happened to me. Also very funny stories happen. We can promote Buddhism. Uh, in uh, Once myself, uh, Bhante, our Sila Vimala organized those days in the uh, University of Berkeley, uh, Vesak celebration, then we have to go from here. Then uh, myself and another two monks were driving because uh, uh, when we, uh, go in driving, go to the rest area. Uh, once I went to the toilet, bathroom, the person saying, because I put in the like a cap in the, uh, for just put in the cap like that, cover in my head. Then the man says, this is men bathroom. I didn't pay attention. Then he said, lady, you don't understand English. I said, look at, at him. I said, I'm a man too. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you're a woman wearing Indian sari. <laughs> they thought this is a sari. <laughs> this type of thing happened. Even very interesting story I want to tell you. In a Thai tradition, Thai people love to have a monks wearing a, uh, like uh, our Venerable Sirinanda and uh, Venerable, uh, um, they are wearing the covering the rope. That's why Thai people like to see Theravada monks. 
those days when I, I used to have a lot of Thai, but still I do have a lot of Thai devotees. When uh, I go to sometime, they invited me their uh, place to go and have a lunch. One day I went to the Vilsha, one of the apartment, uh, to have a lunch, one of our devotees' house. Then when I go in the lobby, I'm staying in the lobby, I take in the rope like that, I uh, roll in that uh, whenever Sirinanda can sometimes demonstrate to you, <laughs> the lobby, I put in the rope like that, roll in like that, I roll and I roll in and roll in and got like this. I saw one of ladies sitting in the couch in the porch, immediately she ran into the, uh, I saw she ran, running uh, to somewhere and uh, I believe, then after then, then looking I put in rope like that, then up immediately within five minutes, when my driver driving, someone came with me. When uh, he came, police also arrived, fire department also arrived, and uh, uh, immediately police got this. My driver questioned him. I did not drive that time. Uh, it was uh, 1976, uh, I believe. Then uh later on he police came to me and asked why well, what are you doing here i said i go to my thai daughter's uh, apartment for religious services oh uh, i asked why then uh, one of ladies called say indian guru came here put in their clothes together try to comment to her side she thought I'm putting the, this scroll, try to count suicide. So she was so scared and called police. Police and of course fire department came to help me. <laughs> that type of very funny stories. I can share a lot those are things those days. Anyway, all of fun. I like it. Those things happen through that I could explain the Buddha's teaching. So right now you can ask any questions. I'm so happy to uh, talk to you this time, okay? Thank you, Venable. Uh, that's a wonderful <laughs> talk. So you gave us like a snap stop, uh, smash spot of the, uh, the history of the Buddhism in America with so many interesting stories and some story I haven't heard <laughs> before. And so we're gonna open up uh, question session, question answer session. And if you have any question, you can type in on the chat box. Uh, first question uh, I will ask. <laughs> One day, uh, what are the challenges, uh, especially uh, Theravada Buddhist monks now face in the United States? Uh, it is very interesting to explain to you. you know, the Theravada way, very hard to, not even Theravada, Mahayana also, this American society, very difficult to practice the Sangha order. When since I have been here, I try to ordain many male and female. Fortunately, I got a lot of females, at least uh, 35 to 40 of uh, nuns, but only monks, I can count only two or three, even on Yoga Vacha Rahula still, I got, he owed in Sri Lanka, but I got for him a high ordination here in 1979. I organized and got his high ordination. The, the difficult, the reason is if you order in Theravada uh, way American monks, two reasons they cannot remain. Number one is that this country is a very free country. They depend on himself. They don't like our Theravada way uh, to receive food, lay people bringing us and give us food and feed in us. They don't like it. They want to go to work 
and earn money themselves spending they don't want to depend on others one reason second thing is they are hard to control their sexual needs hmm? therefore they says no this doesn't work out us that is the reason why i talk to our early sangha members like a venerable dr havampur ratan sare and dr panil anand and i organize venerable madhavala punne ji one of the greatest teachers who we have in this country and I talk to them we organize different uh, initiation system call someone uh, get a pipe precept we call them upasaka upasika that person at least learn in madhyamini kamidal lens at least have of them then we after two years later we give them dhammachari initiation with the nine precepts then the person qualified and have a uh, university degrees even not university degrees they work with us in other two years and practice in meditation learning buddha teaching we give them uh, the initiation called bodhichari bodhichari 12 precepts equal to methodist ministers actually i learned from methodist seminary i lived with them in chicago northwestern university three years together with methodist ministers i learned from them i give to them credit and uh, uh, even jodo shinsho ministers similar way we i do have uh, under my temple cause other temple also do have over 80 bodhichari ministers like steven lawn uh, like uh, uh, many other well known some scholars here uh, barbara white who is a psychiatrist psychologist and psychiatric and those type of people we do have uh, that initiation promoting buddhism marvelous way they are lay people they are living a lay life they are not the sangha members they are neither not lay people either in between even they can use the reverend uh, title and uh, they are supporting sangha members they can initiate any religious services that way promoting it is a uh, one thing uh, second thing is uh, i'm very sad one way and also all the time i appeal to the society in this theravada tradition way our buddhist nuns not getting enough support like a theravada monks getting support but somehow some way have a kind of way they not recognize realize how wonderful theravada nuns are services and not financially give much support that's the reason why i owed in many of them they are coming from rich families therefore they are stay in their own houses practicing some of them are desert area have a big monasteries but still they need support we do not have enough support for them that barrier we have to remove fortunately in mahayana tradition especially bhikkhunis has a lot of uh, power and doing very well wonderful job uh, especially when you go to taiwan you can find out how they are doing like the suchi foundation and so forth that type of services even you can find in this country those are the things we have to work out figure out how to help this uh, especially theravada bhikkhunis how which way we can help thank you so much and we are so you know, proud of you venerable because you are supporting nuns uh, in america even in nepal you know, the nepalese nuns are struggling uh, uh, Like it's very hard for them to you know, find resources. And uh, recently we organized uh, one NGO, uh, Maitri Project. Uh, so I'm, we are supporting, raising money for the Nepalese nun who are uh, struggling to even pay for their tuition fee and eat a meal. So it's very hard. <laughs> so thank you for your support, nuns. And I have one question here uh, from Miao Shi. Uh, what? can we do to promote buddhism in campus uh what can we do to promote buddhism in what can we do to promote buddhism in campus promote 
in USA or the uh, whole world? It says the campus or college. Campus. And your campus. In, uh, of course, your campus is a Buddhist campus. <laughs> uh, so I do not have to suggest like uh, you and uh, wonderful professors are there, wonderful monks are hanging or there and they are doing good jobs. And uh, I do have a, yet some suggestion like even uh, our, when I was in UCLA, even Northwestern University and Berkeley, still they do have a, they time to time inviting uh, Buddhist scholars and seminars and uh, some way, even you used to have a doctor, Dr. Ananda Guruge was in with you those days, uh, he well organized once a year, big seminars, mm. yeah, getting uh, scholars around the world. And uh, with even one week, sometimes they did uh, uh, like uh, many different topic in Buddhism and science, Buddhism and psychology and so forth. He did a marvelous good job. Uh, I remember even I give a one uh, day, one of topics also comparing uh, Buddhism and psychology in one of the, uh, seminars. Eh? Those type of things very important. Again, uh, I believe you do have a time time meditation classes too. That is very important. I'm so excited to hear that you're going to have a Bodhi tree also. It is a very important thing. It's a symbol of uh, uh, to gratitude, you know, the, the symbol of gratitude and so in that the whole world we have a we are gratitude to our founder fathers and so forth. That's a wonderful, good thing, sir. Mm. And Venerable Piano just mentioned that uh, uh, Silai Temple, right? Uh, you you donated the Bodhi tree to Silai Temple when it, it was established. It was built, right? Yes. In the gate, it's still there, right? Yeah, it's still there. When uh, Silai Temple, when it started that day, I donate to that tree still there. Yeah, I'm so happy to see whenever I go to see Light Temple. I'm so happy when the first seeing that tree go to the uh, upper place in the beginning of the uh, their properties, they planted this for the tree. Uh, next question uh, from Miaoshi again. Nowadays, people are so busy in life. They are not very interested in spending additional time to get no Buddhism. What can we do to give rise to their interest? Buddhism is, you know, not alone philosophy. It is way of life too. Huh? We mostly, if we in, uh, of course, in philosophy, we have to explain to the scholars, but regular people, we have to advise and live with their daily life many kind of a way of life. For example, you, you know, the Avasikalu Vada Sutta expresses how to live a wife and husband and children and parents and teachers and students and so forth. Those practical things, we have to teach them and explain to them. Also, in promoting Buddhism alone, Buddhist monks cannot do that. We must have a lay group organized. For example, today in American society, I cannot go to the dinner table and talk with them. You know, as a Theravada monk, sometime actually I go, even though I'm not eating, but other monks are not liberal like me, they won't go. They are, they want to have a, some conversation at a, uh, go to the restaurant, go to the uh, other places and this type of thing have to do. Uh, there are for lay people, they don't have to talk to Buddha, Buddha's name, just regular thing when uh, how you have to respect your wife and mutual respect and uh, uh, don't uh, in uh, myself, I never insulted my wife and uh, I never cheated her, uh, I give her whatever, uh, give authority to her, and whenever birthday, I never forget her like that. 
Buddha's teaching, without telling Buddha's teaching, they can explain. Therefore, we must impose and teach our lay people to Buddhism. They, the people have to take this message because of this society, very difficult to monks to go in, especially Theravada monks to go in, very difficult hmm? uh, to American society. The, it have to be less people have to do go and having a dinner with them, go having a parties with them, go have to movies with them, uh, go with them uh, playing a playground and so forth things. Uh, by the way, I forget to tell some of our, uh, especially in uh, like uh, uh, Lakers, our Phil Jackson, huh? uh, Lakers, uh, uh, Phil Jackson is a coach those people also promote Buddhism very well. Phil Jackson explained to us in one of TV program, before any events happen, he meditate 10 minutes with those, uh, because he was a Chicago Bull, that time number one, Chicago Bull, after Lakers, number one, then asked how, what kind of miracle you are doing. He explained nothing, I'm doing a, 10 minutes meditation, uh, inside meditation, uh, focusing, that's the way we, he never said this a Buddha's teaching, even though he's a Buddhist. And that's the way doing the things. Those people are remarkable way helping society, that's the way. Thank you, Vante. Uh, last question from Miss Hu Wind E. Uh, why Buddhism? does go mostly among original believer than international audiences? Yes. Ordinary people? Uh, original be believer mm -hmm. than international audiences. It is a practicing or does not practicing? So I think it means maybe the, uh, the people who already practice in Buddhist Original, original believer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the one thing we have to do, even as a Sangha members, um, we are traditionally coming Buddhist, and uh, sometimes we <laughs> label Buddhist, but we Buddhism has a lot of things to everything, you know, symbols. Every symbol we have to independent way think without orthodox way. Huh? All the time we surrender to some time our commentaries, wonderful commentaries we need. More than commentaries, ourselves we have to think new way, how compare with the Western psychology, how to compare with the uh, Western science and even the politics and so forth. We have to live present moment, present world. Uh, even the Holy Bible, so we must read and get uh, many examples in uh, Jesus Christ was a remarkable, wonderful, good teacher. Uh, his, uh, we also, we can learn, you know, that way we can approach them. Those are very important to go to the peoples. Also in Buddhism has the uh, greatest techniques in call, uh, even though our Theravada the monks not much practicing, music. Music is a remarkable thing, especially go to the African-Americans. Venerable Ananda Maitreya was a wonderful, greatest teacher in this world. He lived with me seven years in this temple. And uh, he telling me all the time, music is a very good instrument teaching to the people. Hmm? It is a very important. Therefore, music, through music also we can go to teach them. Hmm? Uh, we should not forget that. Hmm? Thank you so much, Venerable. Uh, uh, so before we close, uh, I just want to thank President Thar, Venerable Srinanda, Venerable Tamajoti, Venerable Panyaratna, uh, and Fong Sam uh, for organizing this event. And, and uh, I have some message. Uh, 
Madam President, I wrote some books I would like to donate to the uh, University of West. I give a venerable, our, uh, like a symbol of, to our venerable Dr. Panya Ratana Mahathere. Thank you so much. So also, we have a lot of the Theravada books uh, coming from Absolutely. Sri Lanka and uh, uh, also our uh, one of remarkable teachers is here. Uh, Venerable Damagaru, he's very generous person, bringing a lot of Buddhist books, give to everybody. We do have uh, some Buddhist books, there are other Buddhist books, I'm very happy to give to the, your library, okay? Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. You so much. Your Absolutely. universities, our university, our place, we are uh, really uh, uh, love it and uh, help it and we want to protect it. Huh? Yeah, Thank I you. I'd like to extend my invitation. Uh, when we plant the Bodhi trees, uh, please bless us. <laughs> Can never please yes. visit us. Um, yes. Please bless us with the year. Today, now? No, it's on 19th, uh, next month, 19th. November 19th. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. And thank you, everyone, for attending. Uh, stay, stay safe and have a good night. Thank you. <laughs>